What's up family? We have a new update regarding our seniors and our social security recipients. First on the list, we need to discuss the deadline to take action so that you don't lose your SNAP benefits. Some individuals are on the verge of losing them and if they don't follow the simple process, uh, the deadline is approaching, guys. Also, we have new information from senior groups announcing what the anticipated COLA increase is going to be for 2024. I want to share that information with you as well. You already know what to do, guys. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well as hit the like button as it really helps us grow on YouTube. Now, let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off, guys, we do need to go ahead and talk about what's going on with SNAP and SNAP recipients uh, receiving their benefits. Well, apparently there is a new change in the process, and uh, this is going to affect those individuals in the state of Texas, my home state, guys. What do you know? But as you can see right here in this particular article, it says that the SNAP benefits in Texas, the process you must complete this month to avoid losing your benefits. Uh, yes, guys, Texas residents will need to complete a new process in August of 2023 to avoid losing their SNAP payments. Here's how to make sure your case remains active. Uh, anyways, guys, it says that a new month has arrived and with the, the distribution of another round of SNAP coupons, uh, the SNAP benefits are designed to help low-income families who struggle to put food on their tables. But through this economic assistance, the federal government grants food aid uh, that is deposited each month into your economic benefits transfer card or better known as your EBT card which is valid for use in select stores. The exact amount depends on your situation of how many members are in your household and your family as well as the number of family members altogether. But anyways guys it says that all SNAP recipients must recertify their sales guys. It says right here that the new SNAP recertification process uh, relates to all SNAP recipients that need to have their case considered active for some time due to the certification period. This means that they must be certified periodically to continue receiving their SNAP benefits in a process known as recertification. Now in the state of Texas, the deadline to recertify benefits is around the corner guys, September the 1st. And in case you need to go through this particular process, you have the remainder of this month to get it completed. Uh, so anyways, guys, it says that uh, through the recertification process, state governments keep beneficiary information updated and reevaluate their own situation, thus ensuring that the aid reaches those who truly deserve it, as well as this particular process is also used to make uh, whatever adjustments that are needed to the amount of money that is sent out each and every month on your EBT card. So uh, anyways, guys, you definitely want to check out this information. It says right here that if you do not complete your recertification verification, verification process by the deadline of September the 1st, there is a possibility that the government may cancel or pause your coupon payments. For more information, guys, you can contact the Office of Health and Human Services at the phone number 512-424-6500. Again, guys, that information is related to the state of Texas. I'm not necessarily sure if other states require their SNAP recipients to also uh, go through a recertification process, but we do know according to this article it does affect those americans in the state of texas uh, moving on guys we do want to go ahead and talk about snap benefits are under war right now in which some far-right republicans are still threatening to derail another house priority in which guys uh, this particular article is talking about uh, the farm bill it says that a major battle lines are forming within the house republican caucus over a one trillion dollar farm bill reauthorization to hit the full house this fall, just as Washington is set to descend into another all-consuming battle to fund the government. GOP hardliners are still fuming over the deal. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy struck with President Joe Biden to raise the debt ceiling limit earlier last month, especially a provision that could expand the number of people on federal food aid. They are referring to SNAP benefits, guys, and they are keen to take another swing at limiting that anti-hunger program uh, the SNAP program up for reauthorization within the Farm Bill, which promises to be politically 
polarizing guys but anyways guys this particular uh, bill that is on the table the farm bill is going to have something to do with uh, the safety net programs in this country such as the snap food stamps benefits and which it says right here guys that the house republicans they are trying to provide cuts to the program in which millions of Americans depend on this particular program every single month just to put food on their table. But anyways, guys, as of yesterday, the Democrats ended up putting out a press release in regards to the House GOP leaders saying that, look, they need to maintain the SNAP benefits, how it is very important that they do so. The Democrats on the House Agriculture Committee on Monday called on the Republican leaders to stop threatening cuts to SNAP benefits with less than two months to finish up the two 2023 farm bill and warned that continued threats could jeopardize the prospects for progress on this particular farm bill. And in a letter addressed directly to the House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, the 25 Democrats on the committee expressed concerns about comments from McCarthy's leadership team threatening potential cuts to the largest U.S. food aid program that is provided to low-income Americans. And they also asked that the House Speaker not to interfere with the committee's work. But anyways, guys, the Democrats taunted uh, the bipartisan nature of the committee and praised the Republican chair, Representative Glenn Thompson, for pledging to keep the bill bipartisan. You guys know what that means, right? Uh, but anyways, as we continue to work on the 2023 Farm Bill, we would ask that you continue to honor the tradition by letting the committee work its will and then respect the product that we hope comes out of our process later this fall. The Democrats wrote this in information in the letter, which was led by the ranking member, Representative David Scott. But anyways, guys, the continued threat of making additional changes and cuts to the SNAP eligibility or benefits is not helpful and even undermines Chairman Thompson as he works with his Democratic and Republican membership to bring a bipartisan farm bill out of the Agriculture Committee. Uh, so anyways, guys, that is going on right now, the battle between the Democrats and the Republicans. But uh, this is very important guys because this is in regards to the snap food stamps program which we all know that millions of americans depend on this program every single month just to survive guys because you all know that we have to have food on our tables just to survive and not just for us not just for the parents but also for our children in our household and some individuals end up having their mother or their father-in-law or, or people like that living in their household as well so uh, the snap food stamps program is definitely important and the house democrats guys they are fighting to make sure that they prevent the far-right republicans from putting cuts into this particular farm bill. But anyways, guys, like I said, the Republicans continue to attack on this SNAP and pretty much endanger America's children as well as our veterans. Guys, this does not only affect regular people such as mother and father, it also affects our children as well as our veterans. We cannot allow cuts to this particular program. In fact, we actually need to figure out a way to provide social security increases to the SNAP benefits as well. This is very important, guys, as we continue to move forward, continuing looking at our inflation in this country, as well as knowing what we potentially may see in regards to the COLA increase later on this year. So we know how important the SNAP food stamp program really is, guys. And uh, the House Democrats, guys, they are fighting for you out there. This is very important. And in fact, we actually heard from one of the high-ranking Democrats in regards to his warning message that he ended up sending out to the Republicans. As you can see right here, guys, that uh, Scott ended up sending a warning message to the Republicans telling them to lay off of the SNAP program. Uh, yes, guys, a top Agriculture Committee Democrat says that his support for nutrition program is unwavering. And yes, guys, we are talking about David Scott, which is the Democrat of Georgia. He is warning Republicans not to cut Supplemental Nutritious Assistance Program or the SNAP program funding if they want to pass the Agriculture Farm Bill. Uh, yes, guys, he ended up saying this information on Tuesday and he also issued an emphatic public statement reiterating unified Democratic support for what he calls the country's most successful anti-hunger program. He said in a statement that, look, my defense of SNAP is an ambiguous 
I can't say that word, guys, but as it is unwavering, he said in his statement, continued attempts by extreme Republicans to take food away from hungry children, seniors, veterans, and people with disabilities will not stand. So anyways, guys, that is what we have on the table right now in regards to getting this particular farm bill passed within the next 60 days or so. And it looks like it is just going to be a huge battle, guys. And hopefully the Democrats will come on top in regards to preventing the far right Republicans from adding cuts to the SNAP food stamps program. But anyways, guys, what do you think about this? Comment down below and give me your take on this. What do you think about this in regards to the Republicans and the Democrats and how they are fighting each other? just to keep the SNAP food stamp program alive. So anyways, guys, I would love to get your take on this. And last but not least, guys, we do need to talk about Social Security in regards to COLA increase. Uh, guys, it says right here that how much payments are expected to increase in 2024? Well, guys, as you can see right here, it says that seniors cost of living adjustment or better known as the COLA increase is expected to decrease drastically in the upcoming year, compounded by a high price of goods and services that contrast with the fall falling rate of inflation. The Social Security Administration is expected to announce the 2024 Social Security COLA increase this October, guys. We have less than 60 days away, which is anticipated by some groups to hit 3%, as well as to raise the average monthly benefit of about $1,787 by approximately $53 per month. Now, the currently, right now, guys, the present 8.7% monthly increase in retirees' income was taunted by the Social Security Administration office last October as the highest rate in the last 40 years. And in July, the Federal Open Market Committee, or the FOMC, announced a 0.25% basis point increase rate uh, from five and a quarter percent to five and a half percent, the largest level in the last 22 years and the 11th hike of the past. 12 U.S. Central Bank policy meetings, and this actually started back in March of 2022. So anyways, guys, it says that the Senior Citizens League, which is a large nonpartisan senior group, made the 3% estimate back in July. This particular estimate ended up rising from 2.7% in June, taking into account a slight increase in the average rate of inflation plus the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, which is an index used to determine the COLA increase, being up by only 2.3% year over year. Uh, so anyways, guys, we did get some good information right here because the Senior Citizen League has told us that previously back in June, they thought that the COLA increase for 2024 was going to be around 2.7%, but now they believe that it's actually increased a little bit and it is now sitting at around 3%. But still, guys, we don't know what it's going to be because we still have to get the readings over three particular months in which we are going to find out the final answer this year in October. But anyways, guys, later on this week, which I believe is tomorrow, we are actually going to get the CPI numbers for the month of July. So that is going to give us a little bit of headway in regards to what we can expect in regards to an increase for our social security recipients. So anyways, guys, we have an impactful week. Uh, like I said, tomorrow we should have the CPI data and I will get back to you guys on that information as well. And hopefully we can find out more information in regards to what the Senior Citizens League believes that the increase for 2024, the COLA increase is going to be. Hopefully it will receive an additional increase from the current 3%. Hopefully, guys, it will go up to around 3.5% or 4%, guys. But anyways, guys, I will keep you guys posted. But other than that, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, that's all we have for you today. But feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a couple of opportunities for you to earn some free money, such as free cash. Uh, yes, guys, we are not talking about the billion dollar lottery. But anyways, guys, if you sign up with Webull and deposit at least one penny, they are going to give you 12 free stocks. Now, the good thing about it is that those 12 free stocks can actually be worth $3,000. And all you have to do is just sell those stocks after you receive them and then withdraw the 
the money back into your bank account or if you want to use the opportunity to start your investing journey uh, this is a great opportunity guys but anyways if you are interested that link will be down below in the description but anyways if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more please go ahead subscribe to the channel it's totally free and if you like today's video then go ahead and hit the like button for us it really helps out this channel as well as it tells youtube to share this video with others but anyways guys hey i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and i hope to see you on the next video peace